Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer that I haven't had in a long time. I remember thinking it was really good um, the last time I had it. This is a Florida brewer named Two Henrys, and the name of this beer is Seven Mile Bridge. This is an IPA, and it smells very much like an IPA. Amber color, easy pour, just a thin skin of a head, not no real head. And this is almost the same color as Americanin, um, Cigar City, High Lie, White Oak. It's, it's, it's in that range for color. A little hazy. Stick for a sip. It's good. So this definitely is a little hoppy, like a, like most IPAs. What's different about this one, though, is it's very malt forward. Um, it, it, the malt is the first thing you taste, not the hops, and it tastes kind of like um, almost like graham crackers, or or uh, or. Um, those animal crackers you had when you were a kid, almost like that. That's the initial flavor, and then the hoppiness kind of takes over. And it has a slightly, almost sweet finish. Um, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's sweet, but this is uh, a six percent ABV. Sorry, 6.4 ABV, 45 IBU, 11.99 a six pack. That's a little expensive, I think, for this beer, um, but it, I, I would like to see this more around the 9.99, like most of the rest of the other, you know, craft beers in in this kind of range and quality. This is what the write-up said on this one. A malt-forward take on the IPA. Biscuit and crystal malts combine English hops and some fruity Simcoe dry hop on the nose. Six different hops give a complex, robust herbal and citric hop flavor. I would say all this is very true, very, very accurate up till now. Um, Medium-bodied with a reddish amber color. That's pretty good. And so, in doing a little research on this beer, I learned that Two Henrys is named after Two Henrys, Henry Plant and Henry Flagler. Um, both men helped develop Florida, and uh, Henry Flagler is known for the railroads and whatnot. There's a, there's a uh, Plant City, Florida, and I believe Plant City is where Two Henrys Brewing is. Pretty cool can. Um, it's got a picture of a uh, um, an old train going across the Seven Mile Bridge in um, in the Keys. So the Seven Mile Bridge, the the old one is not complete anymore. You can't get a, you can't go all the way down it. There was a bike path on part of it for a while, and now there's a new Seven Mile Bridge that goes across. Let me read on the back of the can for you. It says, in 1905, Flagler, I mean Henry Flagler, embarked on what many called Im impossible, and the biggest folly, a ridiculously difficult to, to build railroad line from Miami to Key West. After seven years, millions of dollars, many terrible hurricanes, and deaths of dozens of unsuspecting laborers, Fra Flagler prevailed, and his seven mile bridge still stands today. This beer is audacious like Flagler, we brew this IPA with six different hops, giving it a complex, robust herbal and citric hop flavor. Strong Simcoe hop, nose medium bodied with a reddish amber color. It's good. I really like the can. It's just a, it looks like it is a, um, like a label on a raw aluminum can. I like it though.
is good. I'm going to give this a 3.75. I'm not done with it yet, and it's still kind of evolving, but the, the, the level of complexity and still staying true to a fairly simple style of beer is it's really good. I, and I, I enjoy it probably just as much as the first time I had it, which was I think was on draft. And that was about maybe three years ago. Also, about three years ago, I had a beer called Tokobaga Red from Cigar City. And apparently the, bar, the beer is very difficult to make or something like that. And it has not been available um, outside of the brewery for quite some time. And I just picked up two six-packs today of it, and I'm pretty excited about it. That'll be coming shortly. This is good. You could have a couple of them, but it is a medium-bodied beer. And I think you would start to feel full after two or three. I think it would start to you'd start to sit a little heavy. Almost no lacing, just a little suds on the glass. That was good. Until next time, cheers.